I have some bolts here that have some rust on them and I want to try an experiment with white vinegar. So I'm going to soak these bolts. I've also got one that's in really bad shape at work or rebuilding a vacuum pump. And I've been wanting to try white vinegar to remove rust so I'm going to post a time lapse of soaking bolts in vinegar and the results after different periods of time. Alright, so I'm going to show some of the worst bolts. Might be kind of hard to see in this light, but... And this is the one I'm most curious about to see how it turns out. So here we go, this is just white vinegar. And I'm going to go ahead and start timer and I'll check it after 30 minutes. Looks like there's already some chemical reaction going on in there. I'll go ahead and drop these washers in there as well. I'll check back in 30 minutes. Alright, here we are. 30 minutes in. I'm not expecting a whole lot, but I uh, just want to take a quick look and see. So this is cleaned up pretty good. It's coming off on my fingers. So it looks like it's working. So this was the one that was pretty bad that I was curious to see how it was going to turn out. The threads are looking pretty good. This end has a lot to to get through still, but I'm going to go ahead and put them back in and another 30 minutes and see what happens. All right, here we are at the one hour mark. And I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so you can see the activity in the container. So you can see what has surfaced and is floating on the top. And you can also see it's still pretty active. There's bubbles coming up from the bottom. I just wanna show you that. And all that is in this cup is white distilled vinegar from your regular grocery store. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out one of the bolts and so 
So to me, that's cleaning up pretty good. Uh, obviously, it's still active. You've seen the bubbles. Um, threads are pretty clean. All right, we're gonna do another check. We're an hour and a half in, so I'm gonna see where we have progressed to. Not sure if that's one I had out earlier. All right, I'm guessing this one is not, well, I see one that looks a little worse. All right, so this is the worst looking one. So we'll take a quick look at it. Still kind of grimy. I'm going to see if we can wipe anything off of it. And all I'm using right now is just a microfiber cloth and pulling this straight out of the vinegar. I'm going to put it in for another half hour and we'll check on it again in another 30 minutes. All right, here we are, two hours in. Alright, so this isn't great, but it's definitely starting to look better than it did. So I think I'm going to let these sit overnight. I'm not going to do time lapse overnight, uh, but we will check in again uh, in the morning and see how things have gone. And I think I'm going to add some baking soda if I have some. I'm not sure what to expect. I kind of think this is going to be like a science experiment from 7th grade and we might have a volcano eruption. That's kind of interesting. We have some things floating to the surface. Hey, just like seventh grade. <laughs> nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. That was exciting. All right. So now that I have a mess to clean up. I will see you in the morning. Uh, actually, very interesting. That took away all of the uh, vinegar that was in there. Not sure what that's about, but anyway. Um, I think I'll go ahead and dump some more baking soda in there and see what happens. Oh good, another volcanic eruption. Obviously that was too much. So when that settles down, I'm gonna add more vinegar and let it sit overnight.
Actually, that gives me an idea. In the morning, I'll probably dump the rest of the baking soda in there to get the vinegar out. See what happens. All right, see you again in the morning. Here we are, these have set overnight. Uh, all in all, it's been about 11 hours, uh, between 11 and 12 hours. There's not a whole lot of action going on in here as far as bubbling. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some and see what the condition is. So this is the one that was really bad. It's still a lot of stuff's coming off of it. When I get these to work, I'm gonna let them dry, and then I'll use a wire brush and clean them up. But it's actually much better than it was. I think these are gonna be pretty good. Well, later I'll I'll get pictures of how they turned out. All right, here's what the hardware looks like after it's been in vinegar for 11 hours, and then I also took it to a wire wheel and a grinder. Now you can still see the pitting, but the rust is all gone.